Hello and welcome to another video. Today's video is on saddle height. What can go wrong if your saddle's too high? What can go wrong if your saddle's too low? And how to find the optimum position for it. This is Bike Fit Tuesdays. What is that? What is that? What? No. You know what I'm talking about. Welcome to MoFit Tuesdays. So James, am I right in saying that saddle height is one of the most important factors when it comes to being comfortable on the bike and avoiding issues? I mean, it's the most important one, isn't it? It's, we can relate like 99% of cycling ailments to excessive saddle height. Saddle height is basically a balancing act between uh, extending the leg optimally so you can utilize the extensors, the quads and the glutes through the bottom of the stroke, but also not impinging the hips through the top of the stroke. So when you have the saddle too low, and something we're starting to see in here is if the saddle's too low, it starts to impinge the hips. If you've got a rider that is particularly restricted in one hip than t'other, really quite common, uh, excessive impingement of one hip can lead to um, listening to one side. So that's kind of one of the, so hip pain I, su I suspect could be uh, a potentially uh, an ailment for, as a result of insufficient saddle height. I have to say, 90% of the men that I of men that are coming through here have the saddle way too high. So having someone who's got a saddle that's too low is actually really quite uncommon based on you know, how we like our bikes to look, uh, bike fitting techniques, all of this kind of stuff. If the saddle's too low, it could lead to overutilization of the quadriceps, uh, it could lead to excessive loading of the knee joint. Uh, that, to be honest with you, that's going to take, you, you could potentially end up with something like chondromalacia, which is a, which is a softening of the patella, uh, hip impingement, that's, and potentially uh, pelvic asymmetry, you sit off to one side. Obviously you get a reduction in power output as well. But you, to be honest with you, if, if your saddle height is set suboptimally, whether it's too high or too low, you'll, you'll, get, a, you'll get a dysfunctional um, power output anyway, so you won't be able to drive enough power. Rachel's saddle height now is like six centimeters too low. Quite often results in a rider uh, having to dorsiflex their foot as a means of making up the uh, extension in the leg. So just you're, you're, you aren't doing it in this case because that's way My too low. My knee already hurts. Okay, right. Oh. So we're, what we're doing is we end up with a lot of loaded flexion through the, through the top of the knee. So anterior knee pain can often ensue. If the cells do low, you end up overusing the quads, impinging the hips, and excessively loading the knees. This is usually the point where I always go, bah! Just the, I got a real beat in my bonnet about saddle height. Uh, most bike fitters set people's saddles too high. Most physios set people's saddles too high. Most consumers set people's saddles too high. The most common saddle height reduction that I make in here, and I'm talking to do this every day, is about 20 mil. Uh, as a result of that, most people will actually end up on the wrong size bike. Rachel here is riding a bike that is the same size as my bike. The single most common issue that excessive saddle height generates or creates is pelvic asymmetry. It's a rider's need to list to one side as, as a result of that excessive saddle height. Uh, most people sit off the right hand side. Uh, it's a sacrificial act of sacrificing the left leg for the right leg on the grounds that most people are the right side dominant. Uh, as a result, most knee pain when it occurs tends to occur in the left knee. Most people get saddle sores on the left side. If your right hand, if your hand goes to sleep, it's usually your right hand. If your feet go to sleep, it's usually the right foot. It starts on the outside of the foot and creeps across. Uh, I guess what we don't talk about in, in bike fitting, bike fit 101, when people learn to be bike fitters, we don't talk about how a rider posturally interacts with the bicycle. Essentially, as you sit off to one side, it creates an asymmetrical interaction with the bicycle. Now, human being is an asymmetrical creature naturally, but you're then lashed to a very symmetrical piece of equipment, and it's that poor interaction that tends to cause issues. Uh, so, one way of Potentially understanding where the saddle is too high uh, might be that you the need to point the toe through the bottom of the stroke. In this video, you can see we've actually set rate of saddle very, very high to give you a, uh, a better uh, understanding of what an excessive saddle height looks like. You can see there's quite a lot of pointing through the bottom of the stroke, but actually uh, one of the most one of the things that we try to look for is quality of motion. You, you see, you can see there's a sort of staccato pedaling dynamic. This rate of snatching through the bottom of the stroke, and that's one of the things that we're looking for in a pedaling dynamic for it to be smooth and fluid uh, rather than it just being stampy and, and choppy. In, in summary, excessive saddle height causes knee pain, foot pain, genital problems, any form of saddle issues, uh, hand pain, neck and shoulder issues. Am I making my point here? 
All right, it's, it's the devil. You're almost always better too low than too high. So I'm sure you guys click this video because you actually want to find out how to set your own saddle height. Here's how. Well, I, I, honestly, that, that, that's, that's generally a pretty good starting point. Uh, I think it would probably start very, very low and build it up over time. I mean, what we're looking for is smoothness through the bottom of the stroke. You don't want to be reaching through the bottom of the stroke. It should be a, a smooth, controlled movement rather than you know, just a, a, you know, a terminal extension of the leg. Uh, but like I said, I would probably, if you're having any of the issues that, you've, that we've encountered, that we've listed in, in excessive saddle height, instinctively what I would do is probably drop it by 30 mil quite a lot and then build it up slowly from there uh, but I, I guess fundamentally the, the problem is that there isn't a formulaic way of determining saddle height uh, you know so for example the inseam rule there's, there's a, there are a number of formulas for, for setting saddle height based on inseam the problem with that is it doesn't take into consideration a rider's feet so if you've got an individual a short individual with very large feet they're going to need a higher saddle height than the same height individual same inseam with smaller feet it, it, you have to you have to take into consideration the size of the foot as well uh, I, I really feel like there isn't really a formulaic way of doing it there's been uh, a belief that saddle height is all about millimeter perfection so first and foremost you're taller in the morning when you wake up than when you go to bed at night so scrutinizing over millimeters is a complete waste of time uh, secondly, uh, three millimeter, for example, reduction in saddle height is the difference between sitting here and sitting here. What tends to happen when you make small changes to saddle height are that it changes your interaction with the saddle rather than necessarily changing your biomechanics. Uh, and that's kind of one of the things that we actually uh, quite often find is that if, if you riders very often gravitate to the nose of the saddle as a means of, of reducing the saddle height on the grounds that the nose is closer to the bottom bracket than the tail is. So we're normally trying to set this saddle height based on a rider's ability to sit in the back of it. Uh, to your point, yes, absolutely there is a range. Uh, I feel like that range, how big that range is, is dependent on the functionality of the individual. I personally can run my saddle sort of 10 mil either way of where I've set it without really any issues. So yeah, I, I think that's that's the main thing. Quite often riders, I'm not saying that people, that you can't tell a difference in three millimeters. Quite often riders do have the saddle set too high, they drop it three mil and it, it provides relief. Mostly on the grounds that the position's crap in the first place. The saddle's way too high. As a result, you notice small incremental changes. Uh, I have become accustomed to making very large changes. So I've just done a fit uh, this morning with, with Rachel. I have reduced her reach by five centimeters uh, and the saddle height's come down by about 15 mil. So, you know, this is a game of inches, not a game of millimeters. Bike fitting's hidden behind that myth for way too long. Uh, human beings are very, very good at absorbing dysfunction. So, uh, and you know, the more functional the rider, the better that they are at absorbing that dysfunction. That's why Lawrence can run his saddle like 10 centimeters. That's why long. Lawrence's saddle is so high, I'm surprised he can't see it when he opens his mouth, yet he doesn't get any issues. So it's been quite a big trend at the moment of people running their saddles super low because of aero gains. It often tests faster to be super low down on the bike. Mm. Um, so there's lots of riders in the pro peloton with super low saddle heights like Naira Quintana, for example. Yeah. People might want to try copying that. I what mean, do you think about that? I personally don't believe in running the saddle much, much lower in the name of aerodynamic gains. On the grounds that, again, you're going to start adding to all the issues that potentially are thrown up by insufficient saddle height, like excessively loading the knee. So I think, you know, there, there are potentially aerodynamic gains that can be had from lowering, I actually very often find myself lowering the entire rider. So I drop the front end 20 mil, but as a result, because there's no longer all this tension being held them, they can tolerate more handlebar drop. Again, today with Rachel, she came in here with three centimeters of handlebar drop, she's leaving with five and a half. So almost double the amount of handlebar drop but as a result of the saddle being lower and the reach being reduced. Lowering everything just in the name of aerodynamics, I would say is foolish because you have it's multifaceted you have to think about the biomechanics of the rider they've got to be able to get over the top of the stroke you don't want to be impinging the hips you don't want to be loading the knees there will come a point where the biomechanics will outweigh the aerodynamic gains it's all well and good being aerodynamic but if you can't utilize your muscles properly then you're pissing into the wind i suppose it all depends on the length of the event and there's a huge multitude totally. of factors yeah, yeah. So, there's too many factors can i also add if you really want to get your saddle lower 
Move your cleats further back. Frankly, I I find myself taking cleats as far back as they can. But based on the way the bicycle shoes are designed anyway, I find myself taking the cleats as far back on the shoe as they'll go almost always. Uh, on the grounds that a lot of people have unstable feet and it tends to improve things to no end. You know, improve saddle interaction, all this kind of stuff. But yes, absolutely. If you move the cleat further back, you effectively increase the reach to the pedal. So in turn, you, can, you, you need to reduce the saddle height accordingly. So that concludes the episode of Bike Fit Tuesdays today. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you have any questions and we'll do our best to get back to you. Equally, there's a link down below if you want some more information about James's shop and to book a fit if you're in London or if you want to fly here. Thank you, Rachel. Thanks, Pickle, for your massive input into this video. It's been so helpful. See you soon.